Hey guys, it's Rick. I'm with Angela. Hello. Um, Angela has arthrogryposis multiplex congenitia. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Well, arthrogryposis is a condition which happens in utero, which is before you are born, and it causes your, bo your bones to be fused um, at the wrists and fingers and different places. And sometimes it can happen all over the body, and sometimes just one limb may be affected. Okay, um, where are you from, Angela? I am from Kenderville, Indiana. Uh, what's your favorite color? I'm going to have to say pink, although I like all colors, pink is my favorite. What music do you enjoy? <laughs> I really like alternative rock, but I like all genres. And what's your favorite band? Three Doors Down, you said? Yeah, Three Doors Down. You got that right. Uh, were you born an amputee or did the arthrogryposis multiplex congenitia occur after you were born? No, I, w I had arthrogryposis in utero prior to being born and I became a double amputee when I was around 13. How was your relationship growing up with the doctors in the hospitals? Like, how, how was that as, um, as a whole? It was really tough having to go to multiple doctors who don't even know how to pronounce what I have, let alone treat what I have. So they didn't, they didn't know, was it an up-and-coming um, diagnosis? Yes, I want to say I didn't actually get diagnosed until I started seeing the Shriners Hospital for crippled children. It's not called that anymore now. It's just the Shriners Hospital <laughs> for children. Uh, say that one more time, please. The Shriners Hospital for children? No, before that. It's not called the Shriners Hospital for uh, crippled children anymore? <laughs> they, they, they diagnosed you with it, but it wasn't, oh, yes. it wasn't like a very um, reputable uh, di disease. No, even now when I go to the doctor, they've never heard of it or how to treat it. They have to look That's it up. crazy. Right? That is crazy. Tell me about that. So, um, what high school did you go to? I graduated from East Noble High School in a small town of Kinderville. Um, as far as your condition, was that something that doctors were prepared for and your mother was prepared for? No. Upon your birth? No. It was a shock to my mom and the doctors. No one knew until I was born that I was going to be afflicted by affected by this. Affected by it. Now, how did that affect your going to high school? Um, uh, your condition. Like, how did your condition affect you getting to school and at school and once you were at school and getting back from school? Or what if you had to leave school? Well, I want to say that, you know, like with most disabilities, um, it, it was difficult finding a way to school. But I had a bus, of course, that would pick me up, take me to and from school. But I wasn't able to join in activities. I wasn't able to do anything because my family couldn't afford a wheelchair accessible van. And the school doesn't provide that type of van transportation. So I got to miss out on a lot of things that I think I really would have enjoyed.